So now we know about the chain rule and how we can apply it in a situation where there are more than two variables or where there are more than one functions. Here we are going to apply the chain rule on an economic situation which is as we see in this slide. We are going to talk about the marginal revenue product of labor analysis of it is being done. Now let's see what sort of data is given. So here the total revenue function of a firm is given as you can see output is affecting the level of revenue. Output is represented with Q and it is now further a function of labor. So this output is further dependent on labor because you know the more labor we hire the more output will be there selling which we will get more revenue. So this is a very basic economic concept that we observe in the firm analysis. Now we are collecting all three of these variables in one function where you can see the labor is causing Q and Q is causing R. That is labor is producing more output and more output is enabling us to make more revenue. Finally what we want to see is that labor is affecting the revenue but in an indirect way and that indirect way is via Q. So whenever we have such a situation where there we have uh, you know multiple variables and there is indirect dependence we remember that we can apply chain rule and an economic situation is no exception to it. Here the effect on revenue of labor can be observed when we employ more labor and we get more output and that more output can enable us to make more revenue. This is the same thing explained in a uh, differential way. Uh, the output, the labor causes more output and more output earns us more revenue. So this is the chain rule being applied on this situation. Now let us apply another formula here. And this formula is definitely the conversion of the chain rule that we have studied and this formula will relate to the revenue due to labor. What we are trying to do is to see that how labor can affect the revenue. And here you will see that this variable is calculated by using these two terms that are being multiplied. So uh, let us uh, write this notation in this form and this notation in this form. So both of them, they are derivatives, they are not anything drastically different, but they are written in a different notation. So once we wrote it like this, and this derivative is now written in this form with this bar. So the notational difference is here. But afterwards, the economic concepts, they uh, enter into our discussion as this is the change in output due to labor. So change in output due to labor is actually the marginal physical product of labor. That is how much of the output is produced once we employ an additional unit of labor. So the word physical makes it clear that we are talking about the quantity of the output, the number of the output and not the monetary side of it. Now if I talk about this term, it is the marginal revenue function and MR is the notation for it and it shows the increase in revenue due to change in output. So marginal revenue is the suitable word for it and so this term is now written here. Now what is this? This MRP in subscript we have L which is representing labor. 
so the upper part is marginal revenue product because this is the marginal physical product and if I multiply it with marginal revenue which is the monetary side of the thing it is going to give us the marginal revenue product of labor and the physical when multiplied with the monetary will become monetary in nature so here an economic phenomenon is explained with the help of um, chain rule and uh, its numerical can also be done if we are given a set of numerical functions in their equation form we can apply this uh, chain rule and try to come up with economic interpretation of it thank you